There's a Chinese startup that few people had ever heard of until the past few days, and it has emerged as a real player in the AI arms race. It's called DeepSeek. With just $5.6 million and a few months of development, China's new AI model has achieved a breakthrough, outperforming leading US AI models from OpenAI, Meta, and Google's Gemini. This development has shaken the US tech stock market, and expose the overvaluation and hype surrounding American AI companies. DeepSeek is not just changing the game of AI. It is a revolution against all the stocks that are overblown. This could be the pin that bursts the AI bubble. It is game over for those who have taken advantage of the AI trend. There is a panic in the United States as everyone tries to understand how a startup in China will beat the big players so easily. Well, here is the truth. Before you proceed, hit that subscribe button and let's get into it. For years, Silicon Valley has operated on a simple premise. Building the most powerful AI models demands billions of dollars, massive GPU clusters, and the deep pockets of tech giants. Companies like Google, OpenAI, and Meta have poured staggering sums into training ever more sophisticated systems. OpenAI reportedly generated $3.7 billion in revenue in 2024, yet still lost $5 billion. Google's Gemini project burned through tens of billions. Even Meta's Llama 3, considered a smaller model, required a mind-blowing 30.8 million GPU hours to train. The AI race seemed locked behind an impenetrable wall where only the biggest players could compete. And then DeepSeek happened. DeepSeek, which is the leading Chinese AI lab, their model uh, is actually the top performing or roughly on par with the best American model. This Chinese startup, founded just two years ago by hedge fund investor Liang Wenfeng, pulled off something no one thought possible. With a training budget of just $5.6 million, they built a cutting edge language model that rivals the best systems in the world. The numbers don't even seem real. DeepSeek completed its training with only 2.78 million GPU hours, a fraction of what its competitors used. While Silicon Valley was burning billions, DeepSeek proved that the key is not money, but efficiency. DeepSeek's rise wasn't just unexpected, it was nearly impossible given the constraints they faced. The US government had imposed strict export controls, cutting Chinese companies off from NVIDIA's most advanced AI chips, the H100 GPUs. Without access to these high-speed processors, most firms would have been left behind. DeepSeek, however, saw it as an opportunity. Instead of giving up, they turned to H800 GPUs, a downgraded version of NVIDIA's chips designed specifically for the Chinese market. The H800s had slower interconnect speeds, making them inefficient for large-scale AI training. But DeepSeek's engineers weren't deterred. They developed custom communication protocols that optimized how data flowed between GPUs cutting down latency and increasing overall processing efficiency. What should have been a major disadvantage turned into an engineering breakthrough. This approach extended to the architecture of their model as well. DeepSeek's flagship AI, DeepSeek V3, was designed using a 671 billion parameter mixture of experts model. But here's the trick. Only 37 billion parameters activate per token. Unlike traditional models that fire up all their neurons at once, DeepSeek V3 selectively activates different agents called experts depending on the task. This drastically reduced computational waste, allowing it to achieve top tier performance without the massive energy costs. To make the model even faster and more efficient, DeepSeek used the FP8 method, which reduces memory usage and power consumption. Instead of standard 32-bit computations, most operations run in 8-bit format, with higher precision calculations kicking in only when absolutely necessary. But the real breakthrough came with multi-token prediction, MTP. This technology enables the model to predict multiple words at once, rather than processing them sequentially. As a result, training speed increased by nearly 1.8 times. Additionally, an improved load balancing system maximized GPU utilization, eliminating the inefficiencies typically found in large AI clusters. The AI world didn't see DeepSeek coming. In late 2024, when they unveiled DeepSeek V3, the industry was stunned. Despite being trained on cheaper, slower hardware, the model outperformed some of the most expensive AI systems ever built. It wasn't just competitive, it was better. In Silicon Valley, the response was immediate. Google CEO Sundar Pichai, though silent publicly, was reportedly alarmed by DeepSeek's unexpected success. The company's engineers were forced to reevaluate their own spending and training efficiency. It was a rare moment where the titans of AI realized they might not have the upper hand anymore. We should take 
the development out of China very, very seriously. While OpenAI, which had once championed open source AI, had grown increasingly secretive, locking down its most powerful models behind corporate paywalls. DeepSeek, in stark contrast, took the opposite approach. They open sourced V3's model weights and released a new reasoning focused model, R1, to the public. This decision electrified developers worldwide who had grown frustrated with the walled gardens of OpenAI and Google. DeepSeek wasn't just making AI cheaper, it was making it accessible. By early 2025, DeepSeek was no longer just a promising upstart, it was the company to watch. Their latest release, R1, quickly became a dominant force in AI benchmarks. On coding tasks, it scored 92% on human eval, surpassing OpenAI's GPT-4 at 89%, and even outperforming Anthropic's Claude 3.5 Sonnet at 88%. In mathematics, it crushed the MATH 500 challenge with 85% accuracy, leaving Google's Gemini 2.0 Flash trailing behind. On the chatbot arena, an industry-respected leaderboard run by UC Berkeley. R1 didn't just do well, it took the number one spot, unseating ChatGPT in what many saw as a symbolic victory for open source AI. Aaron Levy, CEO of Box, put it bluntly that overly aggressive AI regulation could leave the US playing catch up. What was once a race dictated by hardware might now be won through software, and DeepSeek was proving it in real time. At the center of DeepSeek's rapid rise is its founder, Liang Wenfeng, he isn't a Silicon Valley billionaire or a tech visionary in the traditional sense. He started as a quantum trader and hedge fund manager, making his fortune in the financial markets before pivoting to AI. His background in high stakes trading influenced DeepSeek's core philosophy, which is to spend wisely, move fast, and don't waste resources. While companies like OpenAI and Google burned through billions, Liang's team operated on a fraction of the cost, proving that AI supremacy isn't just about who has the deepest pockets, it's about who makes the smartest moves. Stock markets opened just a few minutes ago, and it's not pretty down big, especially the tech-heavy NASDAQ. On January 27, 2025, the U.S. stock market had one of its wildest days in recent memory. This crash was due to the release of DeepSeek R1 which came out of nowhere and sent shockwaves through Wall Street. Investors panicked and major tech stocks tumbled. U.S. tech billionaires lost about $100 billion due to this crash. Even the crypto market wasn't spared. This wasn't just another tech shakeup. It raised big questions. Can the U.S. maintain its dominance in AI? Are tech companies spending too much on AI development? And most importantly, if AI development is now cheaper, how will it affect the demand for NVIDIA's chips? NVIDIA. Once the undisputed leader in AI chips, suffered a historic blow. Recently crowned as the world's most valuable company, NVIDIA saw its stock price plummet by 17% in a single day. That wiped out a staggering $600 billion in market value, the largest one-day loss in history. To put it in perspective, it was more than double the infamous $240 billion drop Meta suffered in 2022. Jensen Huang, NVIDIA's CEO, personally lost $20 billion in a single day. Other tech billionaires, like Oracle's Larry Ellison and Dell's Michael Dell, also saw their fortunes shrink. It was a brutal wake-up call. The AI gold rush might not be as profitable as everyone thought. The panic didn't stop with NVIDIA. It rippled across the entire tech sector. Microsoft, Google, and Meta all saw their stocks tumble, dragging down the NASDAQ by 3.1% and even causing the broader S&P 500 to drop by 1.5%. Energy companies, which had been thriving thanks to AI-driven electricity demand, also got caught in the storm. Constellation Energy's stock fell nearly 30%, while Vistra dropped 28%. Even Bitcoin and other digital assets tumbled as investors pulled their money from risky bets. The AI boom had fueled many of these markets, and now they were paying the price. DeepSeek R1 launched only a week before this chaos on January 20th, 2025. Yet in that short time, it became the most downloaded free app in the US, surpassing even OpenAI's ChatGPT. Not everyone is convinced this sell-off was justified. Some analysts argue that while training AI might get cheaper, the infrastructure needed to run these models still relies heavily on NVIDIA's chips. The company itself insists that its GPUs will remain essential for real-world AI applications. But DeepSeek has shown that you don't need unlimited money to build powerful AI. That's a big deal. If software efficiency can make up for hardware limitations, then smaller companies, and even nations with fewer resources, could challenge Silicon Valley's dominance.
For years, China was seen as a fast follower in AI, catching up to US breakthroughs. That's no longer the case. Today, Chinese startups are leading in efficiency, cost reduction, and innovation. These companies are leveraging China's vast data resources, government backing, and aggressive innovation culture to push AI forward in ways that the West is struggling to match. This is beyond DeepSeek. There are lots of other Chinese AI startups that are coming through. A new group of Chinese AI startups, often called the AI Tigers, is rising fast. These companies have reached unicorn status with valuations over $1 billion and are making serious breakthroughs in AI technology. Here's a closer look at the most promising ones. First is Zhipu AI, which is incubated by Tsinghua University. Zhipu AI is one of China's earliest generative AI pioneers. Its chatbot, ChatGLM, already has 25 million users, and the company is valued at over $2.7 billion. What makes Zhipu AI unique is its ability to optimize AI algorithms, delivering powerful models despite limited access to NVIDIA's high-end chips. One of the most fascinating aspects of China's AI boom is that it has happened despite strict U.S. sanctions on advanced chips. The U.S. has been blocking China from accessing NVIDIA's top-tier AI GPUs, but Chinese companies have found workarounds. They've adopted model pruning, quantization, and knowledge distillation, advanced techniques that allow AI models to run efficiently on lower-end hardware. Investors are already taking notice. U.S. venture capitalists have poured over $300 billion into AI startups. But some are now questioning whether they've been throwing money at the wrong problems. One investor summed it up best that Deep Seek is the Sputnik moment for AI. Just as the launch of Sputnik in 1957 pushed the US into the space race, Deep Seek's success may force Silicon Valley to rethink its entire approach to AI development. No one's replicated this. For all we know, this is uh, the Sputnik moment or this is the cyber Pearl Harbor where Western tech giants must adapt quickly or risk losing ground. The days of simply outspending the competition are over. The new AI race will be won by those who can build the most efficient, cost-effective, and innovative models. And right now, China is setting the pace. The United States has long believed that it was the clear leader in artificial intelligence and that China was far behind. Despite its success, DeepSeek has also raised serious concerns. Like many Chinese tech companies, it follows strict government rules on information control. Reports show that DeepSeek avoids discussing sensitive topics related to China's government, meaning its AI models might not provide unbiased answers. There are also concerns about data privacy. Experts warn that DeepSeek stores user data in China which raises security questions, especially for people outside the country. Some are comparing this situation to TikTok, which has faced criticism over data privacy and national security risks. U.S. companies are expected to spend over $310 billion on AI development in 2025. Instead of simply spending more money, they might have to focus on efficiency and new ways of building AI. Beyond the business world, this development also has geopolitical consequences. AI is one of the most important technologies of the future, and the competition between the U.S. and China is heating up. Now the big question is, can the U.S. recover from this setback? OpenAI and other American companies are pushing forward, promising even better AI models. But they now have to compete with a new kind of AI development, one that is faster, cheaper, and potentially just as powerful. This moment could change the future of AI forever, and how the U.S. responds will determine whether it stays ahead or falls behind in this global race. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and notification bell so you won't miss future news. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.